Hello my amazing friends, I hope you all are doing super well today. My name is Mackenzie and I'm so happy that you're here. So I apologize for my voice, I'm a little bit sick. I think it's just from the temperature changes and the climate changes that I've been um, traveling through recently. So I apologize for my kind of nasally voice. But today I wanted to bring you guys a video about my sensory deprivation tank experience. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so if you guys don't know what a sensory deprivation tank is, basically it is a big tank that is filled with salt water. And the salt water has so much salt in it that you're able to completely float in the water. So I was able to do one of these by my friends at Floatwise. They are located on the North Shore of Oahu, Hawaii, and they were so kind to reach out to me and give me a float experience, and it was so great. So thank you guys so much. Basically this tank is filled up with so much salt water that you can float but it's in a tank that is completely dark so no light can get in it and it's the water is at your body temperature so when you lay down in it once you get comfortable um, you don't feel anything your senses are completely blocked out and then you also wear earplugs and it's super quiet most of the noise is very muffled if you do hear, hear any noise outside and then when you wear um, earplugs in your ears then uh, yeah then you really can't hear anything so all of your senses are completely blocked out so you you were basically alone in this tank with your own mind. When I first heard about this, the way that I heard about this was from Stranger Things. So if you guys have not watched that show on Netflix, definitely go and check it out. In the show, they use a uh, they use sensory deprivation tanks to travel to the upside down, which is another dimension. <laughs> So that was kind of what I was excited about. Um, I hadn't even thought about doing um, a floating experience. Like I honestly had never thought about it. And I'm super into like multi-dimensional travel and all these other things. So I was just really excited to go and experience this. So when I got there, Anissa greeted me and she was super sweet and so welcoming. And they had an absolutely beautiful property um, filled with lots of plants. And they had like a little garden and like little caterpillars on this little plant. It was really cool being out in nature and just being able to be in a place with really amazing vibrations so that's kind of how it felt once I pulled up and um, so Anissa and Neve were there and they greeted me and they took me to the tank so the tank had its own little room and they had all these amazing Himalayan salt candles and lamps around um, to just keep up the good vibes the the clean energy and the clean air and it was just I don't know it just felt so like homey being there and I really really liked that so I so they took me to the tank and I was able to look in it and we were just chatting a little bit about what was what was gonna happen and like how to um, how to like get in the tank so first you have to shower and then you have to put in your ear oh no you're supposed to put your earplugs in but I, I didn't do that <laughs> so you put so you're supposed to put your earplugs in and then shower and um, and then get in the tank and you're supposed to get in the tank completely naked too I didn't think about that but yeah so you don't wear like a swimsuit or anything you just get in the tank and um, yeah so I did that and I got in the tank and the first thing that I remember was I was being really scared because I went into it thinking that I was going to travel to the upside down like in Stranger Things and it just really freaked me out so I had my hands like so in the tank it's like I could have my hands out like this and um, and like when you're floating around I could also like feel like the bottom of my feet so my first probably 15 minutes was just me like holding on to the sides of the tank to make sure that I was like still in there um, and that nothing like bad was gonna come out and like get me <laughs> so I think it's probably not advice to watch Stranger Things before you do something like this if you haven't um, ever watched it or if you get maybe a little like I can be kind of scared sometimes just maybe because I do believe in this like multi-dimensional thing where I could possibly travel to some place um, that isn't our dimension so um, I just was kind of like freaked out because I just I wasn't sure what was gonna happen like I'd never done it before and so um, but once I got uh, got over that I was able to just relax and so um, they provided a little neck thing because I guess like I don't know I had a really hard time getting comfortable because you are floating but it's not it's not anything if you've never done it you've never really experienced floating like that it's kind of like a zero gravity uh, situation <laughs> so they gave me like a little neck thing to make my neck a little bit more comfortable 
And once I did that, I was able to really relax. And you know, you're just there with your mind. And I was just thinking different thoughts. And it's funny because before you go in, um, uh, they ask you to set an intention. And my intention was to manifest my dreams. And so I went in there and I was thinking, okay, like, what do I want to manifest? Like, what is it that I want to do next? Like, I've been kind of on the road being a digital nomad. And so like, where do I want to go? And um, it's funny because I wanted to think about that, but just little things started coming up. It's kind of like, if you are experienced in meditation, then um, you can kind of understand like just little things that random thoughts that don't really mean anything just kept coming into my brain and I was like oh, I want to like manifest my dreams but I think one of the biggest takeaways was when I started to realize that my brain was doing that um, I just decided to just kind of let it go and just be like you know what wherever my brain takes me wherever my I don't know soul goes like I'm just gonna let it go and just go with the flow and once I did that um, it was really interesting because I started like hearing music and I guess um, like when you're when they're supposed to wake you up they play music um, it's and it's loud up so you can hear through your earplugs but I started hearing music and so I actually got out of the tank and was like am I done like was my hour or my 90 minutes up already but no like I was just hearing music randomly so I went back in the tank I was like okay that's interesting okay <laughs> and um so I went back in and then I don't know if I fell asleep or what happened but um about yeah 90 minutes later I woke up I heard the really loud music that they were playing and apparently they couldn't wake me up they had to come and knock on the tank and I still wasn't awake and then they had to play the music even louder so I don't know what happened when I walked out like <laughs> Anissa was like oh like you must have went somewhere which was pretty funny but um, it was a really cool experience and the one thing that I really noticed was once I was done with the 90 minutes um, I got out of the tank and I had this amazing sense of like uh, just I don't know what it was my mind was just totally clear like I hadn't felt that clear in a really long time and it was amazing like I just felt like my eyes were just wide open I was able to just completely see the world in a whole more like open state of mind and it was it was a really cool experience like if if you ever if you're experienced in meditation or anything you know you can get that kind of mental clarity after you meditate for a while but being like in a sensory deprivation tank it's like a hundred times just the amount of mental clarity and um so yeah so that was what happened when i got out of the tank i just felt in this amazing sense of calm and mental clarity and um it was just a really cool experience and one thing though was that um when i got out of the tank like you know when like you've been kind of like tired or whatever you like rub your eyes so i rub my eye and the salt water just like burned my eye really bad and i remember being like oh but you know it was interesting because i had such like a mental clarity that it didn't even really like i knew my eye was hurting but it didn't like bother me at all like i was like this is hurting my eye but like i felt so like separate from that pain that it was just it was really interesting like how how i was reacting to it because usually i'd be like ow my eye but this time it was like my eyes hurting my eyes hurting okay i'm just gonna like whatever <laughs> that was also a really cool thing that happened so would i do it again absolutely it was an incredible experience and i am so so glad that i was able to meet um anisa and eve and be a part of floatwise so thank you guys so much that was so much fun and if you guys ever have a chance to try out a sensory deprivation tank i would say definitely do it so to talk about the benefits of a sensory deprivation tank basically you can get over anxiety a lot of people that have claustrophobia uh, will go into those tanks to help them relieve their claustrophobia because it's amazing how when you're in a calm environment you're able and you can like keep the door open of the tank so it's still light inside you're able to crawl in and you're floating it's an incredibly calming experience and so if you do have any sort of health problems or any pain or any ailments in your body or even you know in your mind like if you have anxiety um, going in the tank and just being with your thoughts and being there and being present and just kind of allowing whatever comes to come and uh, working through that it's an incredibly healing experience and especially being in a place like Hawaii um, and being in a such a beautiful place like float wise where there's so much uh, calming just nurturing energy um, with all the gardens and the plants and everything like that um, 
it is a truly healing experience. So if you guys are having any sort of those things, I would say try out a sensory deprivation tank and I think you're gonna, after about a one session, I think you're gonna be able to tell that there's gonna be a huge difference. So zero out of 10 when I do a sensory deprivation tank experience, absolutely, like it was so amazing and I'm so, so happy I was able to try it out. Yeah, just the mental clarity alone afterwards was just incredible and I, I don't know, maybe maybe next time like I'll able, be able to like remember like where exactly I went but um but yeah that was it was really really cool and I I think definitely I want to try I haven't ever like left my body before and we're getting like far out here so if you guys like don't believe in this then that's okay but we're but if like I haven't ever left my body before so I think that would also be really cool to use that to be able to do that if you have ever tried a sensory deprivation tank let me know in the comments below I love you guys so much before you forget please go and subscribe and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye.